Hi, I'm Cantor Lizzie Weiss, and I'm really happy to be with you guys tonight and honored to be helping represent the American Conference of Cantors for this Come Together in Song. Um, I'm recording this a little early after recording in an empty temple, and that's why I, I have the benefit of a little help with my sound. Um, but I hope that you're all sitting in the comfort of your homes, sheltered in place, and um, that we can take 15 minutes to just take a deep breath together. When we were asked to be a part of this presentation, um, it was really left up to us of what theme we wanted to choose. And the theme of choosing life came into my mind because right now we have to choose life every day, I believe. I'm here at Temple Emanuel of Beverly Hills where I serve as cantor. I grew up on this bima. Um, I've performed weddings and memorials alike. And every day I see how people have to choose life, not just physical life, but how they live life. And on Yom Kippur, we sing. We sing about choosing life. Natalie Young wrote this gorgeous rendition of Besefer Chaim. Let us and the whole family of Israel be remembered and inscribed in the book of life. May it be a life of goodness, blessing, and prosperity. May it be a life of peace. life and we don't just choose to physically live life but we choose peace um, I know that that melody makes me feel it um, very deeply and uh, our theme at our temple this year and uh, last year was we are all responsible for one another and sometimes you can feel a lot of it of a lot of pressure on yourself to to finish the task, and many people are, are um, familiar with lo alecha ham lecha. You're not asked to finish, but you have to be a part of the solution. And Mordechai Shapiro, this wonderful artist, musical artist from Israel, composed this lo alecha, and he paired it 
with kol haulam kulo, you know, words about this world feeling like a narrow bridge. I'm sure that everyone can relate right now that you have a very narrow space that you can live in. And so how wonderful it is to remind ourselves, first of all, that it's not our duty to finish a task, but it's our duty to be a part of it. And second, to say, it is scary, but that doesn't mean that we can't try. have all of these thoughts in our heads where it's easy to say it's not our duty to finish the work. I mean, we can't find a cure for this virus right now. We can be very, very far from people that we work with. We can shelter in place. We can wash our hands. We cannot cough on people. But we know that it's beyond ourselves to be able to find a cure for this virus, to find a vaccine. And um, sometimes I think you can get to a place, I know I can, where I'm like, I'm praying, I'm praying, but it doesn't mean anything. And so I thought I would um, follow with Yehu Leratzon, a prayer that we close our silent meditation with, a prayer that says, God, may, may the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable to you. Will our prayers work? Can you hear them, God? Can you hear them to people across the world suffering? I don't know, but I'd like to hope that this prayer will help our prayers be heard. And so thank you, Alana Arian, my friend, my teacher, amazing composer, for writing this beautiful Yihihu Lerat Zone.
I thought I would close this little session today with Turn It Around by Benji Allen Schiller. A reminder that everyone can purchase this music at Transcontinental Music, that we can support these amazing musicians who are helping bring traditional liturgy to our lips today. And to thank you to my clergy partners and to my family and friends and congregants and children who keep Keep me uh, on my toes and keep me learning. Thank you. Much wisdom have I learned from my teachers. More have I learned from my friends, from my students, from my students. Have I learned the most of all? Harbele madeta merabotai, umechaveraiote merabotai, umitalmidai, umitalmidai, yote. that there's always new beginnings, that every day is a new day, that we can thank the people that we've learned in. So sing with me this one last time before we say goodnight. sending you all love and strength.